Hey, what's happening, y'all? It's me coming back at you again with another vid. Um, before I get into the uh, potential matchup between um, Brian Joseph Parker and Brian Jennings, I thought I had addressed something that <laughs> I found a bit um, funny. Um, now, the guy in Taiwan had made a response video to Blood Boxing, which, you know, obviously he can't help himself but to stalk the LDBC any bizarre way. But it is what it is. I mean, that's nothing new with him. But he made a couple comments in that video, which is worth addressing a bit. So I thought I'd address it myself. Now, he said that the UK's education is hasn't uh, it's not ranked highly uh, around the world. Something to that effect. Well, that's inaccurate because the the United the not the United States the UK the United Kingdom's educational system is ranked in the top ten. It's ranked number six last year, but it's been ranked in the top ten for the last several years. And the United States is ranked number 18th. So uh, that's incorrect. And another blunder that he made in that video when he said is that the UK's um, healthcare system is one of the poorest when it comes to the industrialized uh, world. That's what he said. Um, <laughs> um, actually, that's also incorrect as well because the United Kingdom's healthcare system is ranked 18th overall. It's actually ranked one of the best when it comes to the industrialized world. The United States is ranked 37th, 37th. That's including Obamacare. Without Obamacare, it was ranked around 50 or 60 several years ago. All right. So my thing is that if you're an if you're an educator, why would you tell a falsehood like that or or spread misinformation? Because it's kind of curious that if you're telling if you're lecturing your 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 students about the educational systems in other parts of the country, in other countries, or even the healthcare system in other countries, then that's incorrect. And you're compromising your, your teaching credentials by doing that. So <laughs> I know that, you know, it's kind of like a, uh, me taking a, um, you know, a bit of a, uh, you know, a little tidbit of a jab there, but I just thought I wanted to point that out because I thought that was kind of bizarre for an educator to, you know, to accurately, to state information like that inaccurately so uh, <laughs> yeah oh man oh man oh man oh man but anyways uh, let me get into the gist of the video here um uh there's a report that came out uh, i think a couple days ago or yesterday actually that um the joseph parker and uh brian jennings fight is um in the works right now and um what what i do have to say is that um is that um I actually like this matchup. It's very intriguing. Um, and from according to his report on the stuff.co.new Zealand, um, the author is du Duncan Johnston. Johnstone, I'm sorry. Um, it appears that they're lining up this fight to uh, take place in the U.S., where Bob Arum is Joseph Parker's promoter in the United States, while uh, David Higgins, uh, which is by Duco, uh, promotes Parker um, in the other parts of the world. So. Um, According to his report, there, there, uh, this is going to be a headliner on the uh, August 18th show in Atlanta City, Georgia. I'm sorry, Atlanta City, Georgia. I'm sorry, Atlantic City, New Jersey, and this will um, be uh, broadcast live on ESPN. So, um, I actually like this matchup. I actually like it. Um, again, it's very intriguing. Um, if I want to break this down stylistically. I would favor Parker to win it because I think he's a bit more uh, polished. I think he's more talented and he's got better skills, obviously better skills than um, Brian Jennings. And not to say that Brian Jennings doesn't have skills himself. Um, given the fact I did see some slight improvements in his um, fight against Joey Dueco, where he was able to utilize his range a bit better. Um, so um, in this case, he's going to need to use his range against Joseph Parker um, because Joseph is just... He just got the reach, and of course, he's a very good inside fighter. And for Jennings to try to win the fight from the inside, like he tried to do against Ortiz, which was proven to be a bit suicidal, <laughs> I should say, uh, he's going to have to try to outmuscle him to smother him in the inside. So um, he's going to have to find a way to do that. And um, I'm not sure if he's he, he, if he's going to be um, strong enough to. Um, to hold Joseph at bay when it comes to um, trying to smother him from the inside. So um, I will favor Joseph to win it. It would be a good um, comeback win uh, from his loss against Anthony Joshua. So um, definitely, definitely. Uh, it would be, uh, it'll be um, 
it'll be joyful to get um, Joseph to come over to the States for the first time to have a fight. So, um, yeah, uh, let me know what your thoughts about this. How do you see this fight playing out? Um, and then, um, yeah, and that's about it. Let me know. I'm out.